your presence is heaven. Are you feeling the presence? Yeah. You may be seated. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have on the table worship God in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Viewers at home. His presence is heaven to us. I mean, Jesus' presence is heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Um, well, we, I quite enjoyed the message the wise men given us this morning. What a wonderful message. I know your spirit is... Hallelujah. Okay, let's quickly take our Bible and uh, just a few minutes relate to the message we received last week. Believe in our hearts. And I say anytime I come in your midst, if it's just two minutes, one minute, the Lord gave me to talk about this. We continue until we finish. Hallelujah. believe in in our hearts let's let's take the, our reading from the book of roman from the book of roman roman 10 i will take reading from verse 1 before we finally go to the proof test are you there? Brothers and sisters, that's verse 1, I'm taking it. Hallelujah. Are you there? After the book of Acts, Acts of Apostles. Brothers and sisters, my heart's desire and prayer to God for the Israel is that they may be saved. I take it once again. That's our prayer. Brothers and sisters, my heart's desire and prayer to God for the Israel is that they may be saved. That is salvation. For I can testify about them that they are zealous for God. But their zeal is not based on knowledge. Take note of that. Just like many of us, their zeal is not based on the knowledge. That is knowledge of spirit. Take note of that. Since they did not know the righteousness of God and sought to establish their own, they did not. Take note of that. They say, since they, they do not know the righteousness. What is righteousness? With the heart, man believes that Jesus is his righteousness. But they do not know this. There is nothing heart on the pages in the written book. That is their, their belief. Are you, are you with me? So take note of that. Again, if I may read from that text. Hallelujah. They say here, okay, since they did not know the righteousness, the righteousness of God and sought to establish their own, they did not submit to God's righteousness. And what is God's righteousness? It's a gift from God, which is opposite to self-righteousness. I'm this, I'm that, I'm born again, I'm born again, I'm this and that. Uh, which is just opposite. God's righteousness boasts in the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ. Why self-righteousness boasts in itself? Are you there? Why self-righteousness boasts in what? In itself. And God's righteousness, which a gift from above, boasts in the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ. So here, 
their knowledge of God is not based on the righteousness. So it's difficult for them to submit to the righteousness of God. And what is righteousness we know? With the hearts, man believes that Jesus is his righteousness. So we are taking it. Let's go to the proof test now. Let's go to the proof test of this today. So I'm taking you from the, the, the proof test, verse 9. This is where we are going now. If you declare with your mouth, let, take note of that. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be what? You will be saved. That is, there are two channels now. With mouth and with the heart. Lead to right salvation. Okay? For it is with the heart. It is with, with your heart. That you believe and justify. Like you say, I'm justified. I'm no longer condemned. No. Not the word of mouth. Not only just confess it, but believe in heart. And, and it is with your mouth that you profess. That is from the word profession, that is confession. You profess your faith and I say, take note of that. So let me leave. Okay, before putting my Bible down, let's quickly see what those tests so that it will not continue to drag. Let's go to the first John. Are you there? So that first John is relating to where we are coming from. It is just the root. First John chapter 1 verse let me put it first John are you first John? First John chapter 5 verse 13. I will take that verse 13 which is quite related to what we are talking about. Quite. 13. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have what? Internal life. Hmm. This is the confidence we have in approaching God. Hmm. I want to leave you there. So this is where we are going now. But we have little time We have little time. Hallelujah. This is the covenant we have in approaching God. So we talk of believing in our hearts. Wow. There are two tests now we have read. Okay. Put it in this way. If you believe in your heart, Jesus is Lord. You are what? Huh? You are what? Okay, look at what they are saying here. That in that verse, chapter First uh, John, chapter five, verse thirteen, it says internal. That is the promise now. Internal life. He who believes has internal life. Now. The spirit can only tell us this. Take note. Of it. The spirit can only show us that believing is possession. Believing is possessing. The instant you believe, you have. The, let the only spirit can. This is why the Bible is talking of mouth, heart. That is, our, our, our spirit acts, our spirits act upon the words to do that, to declare this. Our spirit acts upon what? 
I can hear you. Our spirit acts upon the word. I, I want to take it because it's too practical. It's not something easily. I, I would not assume we are, we are not in the school. I will not take you to the laboratory, but we do a, a little of it here. Are you ready? We are talking of heart now. Our, our, our spirits act upon the way. How? How? That is the question. How the spirit? This means the spirit will release, will release what? The spirit will release. If the spirit is not released, the where is today's language. If the spirit is not joined to yours, your words is today language. And what is today language? Today language we use today language to gossip. To talk to our children, I'll beat you, I'll read you, I don't know, I will, I will meet you. To do business, to do politics of today. To sing song. To give order, to give directive. Look, go this way, go that way. You know how many people you have given order today before coming here. Look, I'm going to church. You know, you must see that man before he come back from the church today. I believe it's not the language in the Bible. It's not the language of the scripture. Are, are you with me? The power that flow, that is power that flow from his name, the name Jesus. will be in proportion to our love for his way. Are you with me? Take it again. The power that flows from his name the name Jesus will be in proportion to our love for his way. We are talking of heart. You know, I say I'm taking you to laboratory. We are talking of heart. It is the way dwelling in you which is equivalent to Christ's personal being. In dwelling where, if there is no in daily where, and you are calling the name Jesus, he will not come into the scene, and he will not answer you. It is the, the it is the where dwelling in you, which is equivalent to Christ's personal being you. That is, it is the where dominating you. Is the Lordship of Christ in you? I keep asking God many questions in my prayer that are something so worrying that sometimes I can discuss this when I'm in the pastor conference. Not just Christian brother, but pastor conference. The people asking me, why miracle, why healing, why this, why prophecy is not happening everywhere. Yes. God is going to withhold 
the phenomenon of signs and wonder until two things jump. You want me to take it by then? And I told you that it's not a true, it's a, it's, it's, we need to go to the laboratory, spiritual one. God is going to withhold the phenomena of signs and wonder from the church until two things, John, I may call it coalescing. Which is better well. Take it right. God is going to withhold the phenomena of signs and wonder from the church until two things join with the better word, coalescing. What are the two things? The word and the spirit. It is possible to be sound in doctrine and be lost. You can be sound in doctrine and be lost. You can know words and be lost and not be converted are you are you with me take note of that it is possible to be son in doctrine it is possible to know where the girl and be lost Look at me, don't, don't bother that one. If he's, if he's speaking of God, I will know. Mm. He's imitator. Because he, he have seen on a live program, he saw many others crying, crying, T.B. Joshua, T.B. Joshua, himself has planned since last week that <laughs> he has planned the way he would do that crying and the way he will say, you know, I'm, I will face this side that I will allow him to, to talk little so I will cry like other people cry in the past. He tell him he's imitator. <laughs> Anything that is not of faith is sin. Faith is not imitation and it cannot be imitated. Are you are you there? I said that brother I know you are pitying him. He's imitator. He's what? An imitator. He have seen other in the past. He watched humanity TV life. Uh, and say, I must do I must come to the synagogue today and do the same thing. That is not that is not of God. You will not meet God because you do what someone else does. You will meet God because you obey His command. Yes, we are saying God, I mean, it is impossible. It is, it is, it is. It, it is possible for you 
to be sound in doctrine and be lost because our word our spirit acts upon the word that I'm preaching the word I come out to say in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus amen I told you God is going to withhold the phenomena of science and wonder until two things coalescing that John combined and what are the two things? The word and the spirit. Open your Bible to First Thessalonians chapter one, verse five. And also the book of First Corinthians chapter two, verse four. Say, Paul said, My way that came to you was not only with where, but with what? With power. In that first Corinthians 2, verse 4, he said, My preaching and my teaching were not only with where, but also with a demonstration of power of Holy Ghost. When you are calling the name Jesus, it is the way dominating you which equivalent to Christ's personal being in you that you are calling. The way dominating you In the name of Jesus. Jesus will not come to the same if he were. If his were as not dominating you or rose you. Upon the book of Acts 20, verse 32. Acts 20, verse 32. God commends us to the way of His grace. I'm reading what is in the Bible for you. God commends us to the way of His grace. This way builds the Christ nature and love nature into individual in other words God is building himself into us making himself a part of us as the way dominates rules and satisfies our spirit nature
have said that flows from his name Jesus name the power you realize from his name will be proportion will be in proportion to your love for his will when that love is expressed don't be surprised to see things change things lose things bound when that love is expressed i take it again be he in jesus name and if the person is here and you realize the presence of god power of resurrection the lightning of god be healed the power flow from his name will be in proportion to our law for his way the power flows from his name the healing jesus name will be in proportion to our law for his way when that love is expressed don't be surprised to see things change don't be surprised to see signs and wonder I'm talking about that where our, our our spirit acts upon the world the spirit will be released to the degree we stand in reverend of his way tell your neighbor the spirit will be released to the degree we stand in reverend of his way again The spirit will be released to the degree we stand in reverence to his way. Brother, of his way, that will be well appropriate for me. Remember the way to of his way, reverend to of his way. Because when you reverend is absolute, absolute. I take it again, take note of that. Not to his way of his way. I take it again. We say our spirit acts upon the way. You keep asking yourself, what is the way spirit? What is the way? Yes. If that spirit is not released, what you are saying is today language. Many say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, amen, in the name of Jesus, be he, be delivered. And they, they ignorantly, they don't know they are speaking to their language. Many will say, oh, Jesus is Lord. Amen, amen. I'm telling you, if you believe Jesus, Jesus, the quote Bible from Genesis to Revelation, ignorantly, they don't know that they are speaking to their language. It will sweet you, you will concord, you know, concord. Oh, he's saying the truth. But the truth cannot penetrate your heart. Cannot hear. The truth that cannot hear, that cannot deliver, that cannot say. Can we regard it as truth? It's a faintly, a photocopy truth. When you have a photocopy, a copy of a document, you keep doing copy, 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 copy. You remain. You can still read it as time goes on it too. Take it. 
the true side. We are saying, he that believes has eternal life. This issue of believing in our hearts. How can I believe in my heart? Yes, you can believe when you are not only here the way in your hair, but also in your heart. Tell your neighbor, you can believe in your heart. When you are not only here the way in your hair, with your hair, but also in your heart. How do we hear the way in our hearts? You know, today you only hear me. Many of you, you only hear me with your ears. So, yeah, yes, I can hear him, but you are not hearing me with your heart. When you begin to hear the word of God in your, with, with your heart, the, you begin to release what? The Spirit begins to join coalescing, like I have said. God is going, God is, is going to withhold. You know, to withhold is to hold. You continue talking. You cannot move mountain. Nothing will happen. Even witches and wizards confront you. You cannot stand them. Continue wasting your time. Continue sweating. That is what you are seeing all of. All, I mean, happen. Oh, this is this is a preacher. Oh, this is a man of God. This is a look at. Oh, oh. God, God say, I'm going to withhold the philosophy, the phenomena of signs and wonder until two things two things join together the way and the spirit if I'm talking to you let me see your hand like I have said it is possible to be sound in doctrine and be lost You can know the word and never be converted. Hey, yes, Jesus is love. Jesus is love. I mean, I mean you know the way, you pray the way, you establish. I mean, well, fine. People agree that hey, this is a good preacher. Yes. God says is going to withhold the phenomena of signs and wonder from the church from the church people until two things Coalescing that is John combined, agree at the way and the spirit. I mean the scripture and the power of God. In other words, you can call it the word and the name of God must remarry. The word and the name of God must what? Remarry. You know, I told you that the power that flow from his name, from calling his name, in the name of Jesus, 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 will be in proportion to our love for His way. With this, you can know if you are saved. You can know if you are saved. I 
I receive a lot of email, a lot. But just let me just summarize what people say. They say, why my message is only different from what they used to hear? I say, because what I'm doing is what I'm explaining to you. What I'm doing is what I'm explaining. Any moment from now you see prophecy, prophetic way in the life of people. I should be able to explain what I'm doing now. Any moment from now you see people being delivered. I'm this, I'm this, I'm a pata, I'm this, I'm that. But I should be able to explain a pata. <laughs> Look, you should be able to explain what you are doing. If you cannot explain what you are doing, how will you put, how, how will you say, how, look, my God, we, we are saved by a gospel that tells us that Jesus dies on the cross for our sin and rose from the dead. message of preaching you have received we are saved by a gospel that tells us that Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sin and rose from what? from death when you embrace this message by faith is what save us the blood he shed on the cross of Calvary is the most precious commodity in the history of human race Are you with me? The blood of our Savior shed on the cross of Calvary is the most precious commodity in the history of humankind. The blood he dripped from his son from his feet and from his head. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus set me free from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus set me free. The blood of Jesus.
You may be seated. Thank you. Let's open our Bible to the book of Acts. The book of Acts. Let's look at the book of Acts 20. Verse 32. 32, 32. Now I commit you to God and to the word of his grace, which can build you up and give you an inheritance among all those who are satisfied. Now, what, you know, I, I, in the, I, I, let me take you to that book of Roman 10. Like I have said, I told you. We are saved by a gossip, gossip, gospel, I mean, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. The teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ, we say, Jesus right, died on the cross. For our sin and rose from the dead rose on the dead now hearing this word and embracing it by faith take note of that hearing this word and embrace it by faith is what save us. Are you with me? We are saved by the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ that tells us that Jesus died on the cross for our sin and rose from death. Hearing this word and embrace it by faith is what saves us. The blood Jesus shed on the cross of Calvary has no comparison, cannot be compared with anything, cannot be compared with your blood and the blood of the whole world is the most pressure commodity in the history of human race humankind most precious commodity the blood that dripped from his hand the blood that dripped from his feet the blood that dripped from his head. Most precious commodity in the history of mankind. this way and embrace it by faith you will be saved remember Christ dwells in our heart through faith Christ dwells in our heart through what? through faith the word dominating you is what you are calling when you say in the name of Jesus. The word dominating you is what you are calling. And if you cannot hear anything, knowing that the word of God is not yet to dominate you. 
If I'm talking to you, let us hear. Tell you the boy, the, the way dominating you is what you are calling. When you say in the name of Jesus, the way dominating you is what you are calling. Because in that verse 32, it said, I commend you to the well of my grace, of his grace. This well builds Christ's nature, love natures, into individual. In other words, God is building himself into us, making himself a part of us as the way dominates, rules, and satisfies our spirit natures. Are you, are you with me? When I say power that flows from his name will be in proportion to our love for his will. That is why I say in the name of Jesus Christ there is a wonderful name Jesus there is wonderful name Jesus. There is wonderful name Jesus. There is no other name I know. Listen to that. There is wonderful name. Jesus, the power that flows from his name will be in proportion, proportion to our law for his word. When that love is expressed, that is why they say it's love of Christ that heals, love of Christ that bless, love of Christ that this. You can say love of Christ. If one is not love, one cannot be entrusted with this grace. If one is not love, one cannot be entrusted with the grace we are talking about. He be delivered, be delivered, be, be set free. So I want to leave you here, but just giving you the word of grace that, like I have said, the spirit will be released to the degree we stand in, oh, let me put it that way, that is irreverent of his word. Tell your neighbor, the spirit will be released, will be released to the degree we stand in reverence of his word. What is the spirit? That is the question now. Is it spirit, spirit, spirit? What is it? What am I talking about? In every step, the spirit must suggest. Before I open my mouth, the spirit must suggest what to say. If I'm to speak to God, for God. If I'm to speak of God. Before I turn around, the spirit must suggest. Before I, I talk now, I'm, before I talk, the spirit must open your mouth. 
the spirit must suggest every step, every attempt. If I'm speak of God, but God Himself inspires the Spirit to speak. Are you with me? God Himself inspires the Spirit to what? Eh? Eh? So you know the word Spirit now. Because I, I keep saying uh, Spirit, Spirit. So which kind of Spirit this man is talking about? Before you can stand up now or lift your hand, the Spirit must suggest to you, lift your hand. If the Spirit does not, and you lift your hand, you will lift your hand of your own. So me, there are many people that say in the name of Jesus, with that Spirit suggestion, Many will come out and preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus' name, Amen. Jesus' name, Amen. Amen, Amen. With that spirit suggestion, it's a dangerous mission. Take it again and write it to your note. I told you, well, I'm, I'm expecting me. Thousand email will, 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 will hit me today. I will, I will receive query concerning what I have said now. I'm ready to, I'm ready for the query. Listen again. The spirit will be released to the degree to the what? I can hear you. You stand in reverence of his word. Tell your neighbor once again. I can hear you. I can hear you. So when you now say in the name of Jesus and you expect the spirit to release and nothing is released, it means Whatever the word dominating you is not is dormant, is incapable of what? Of release. Like I have said, the word dominating us, we are calling when we say in the name of Jesus. Tell your neighbor, the word dominating me. I am calling. When I say the name of Jesus, I can hear you. I am calling what? You are calling the way that dominating you, which is equivalent to Christ's personal being. Christ and the way are one. If somebody is telling you that ah, it is perform miracle, perform miracle, my miracle, it doesn't preach. Ah. When you preach the Jesus will come into the scene. And when Jesus comes into the scene, he performs miracle. Amen. When Jesus comes into the scene, science and wonder. Sense and mother. Unless that miracle you perform, you, the, what you are doing is not of God. Because that could be counterfeit. Which need to be tested by the Spirit of God. They say every spirit needs to be one. Tested. <laughs> tested the Spirit instead of coming out and begin to abuse your fellow brother. How do we test the Spirit? Go into the prayer. This man. TB Joshua. Fast for today days. If if the one in, inside you is greater than that TB Joshua, if you fast for three days, 
you can command T.D. Joshua to do whatever you want to do if he's not serving the same God you are serving. That is you, Christian, pastor, bishop. First, release yourself and say, God, I, I want to know by what authority this man is doing this. And go into fasting and prayer. But fasting and prayer is no not to eat food. Though. Give your heart to God and let him go regulate your eyes. But you may be you may decide not to to eat spiritually to the fast. So you will say, I'm not going to eat food. I'm going to eat you. That led you to uh, ulcer. <laughs> there are many people today, they say they cannot fast because they have ulcer. What would these people do when they will ask them to fast? To? Huh? Yeah? So they, okay, they say, let us fast every day. The person that says he cannot fast because he has ulcer. By the time you ask him how to come about your ulcer, I say he was fasted for five days. That's how he has ulcer. Can you imagine that? Hallelujah. You are blessed. Let us see your hand. Who can come out now and tell me? Just, I want to hear from you. Somebody should come out and tell me what, what. What is the challenge you are having? Because this message has actually answer question that have been baffling you. Why this? Why am I not here from God? Why am I just praying? Why am I just this? Why am I not know if prayer will answer? If my prayer will not answer? Uh, what is spirit? What is heart? What is belief? What is power? I think many things now has given you there's a question like we say power will, power that flow from his name. Have you? Power that flow from his name, isn't it? Will be in proportion. To our love for his way. Mark it out, your love for his way and power so me and the bible say there is power in our mouth the belief in our heart is released by faith out of our mouth if there is power in our mouth yes everyone has power then if you have not realized your power it means the proportion of your love for his way and not war and not cannot release the power as a result of the proportion of law for his way that costs you what to be powerless but the power is there you have to work on the proportion of war tell your neighbor work on war for for his for his will. Tell your neighbor again. Walk walk on. I can hear you. Walk on the proportion of your law for his will. Once again. I can hear you. Yes. Like I have told you about the spirit, yes, every attempt in the, before you raise up your hand, in the, who do you want to call? Is it your father at home? Your cousin? Your uncle? Your grandfather? Joshua? Your junior brother? <laughs> if it's not your relative, your brother, your father, is someone you, that is not even exists in flesh and blood. God is spirit. Amen. Are you?
you with me? In the, if you want to say in the name of Kule, <laughs> you don't, you don't, you don't need spirit. You don't need spirit. Kule is not spirit. Kule is there. He's the one walking around. In the name of Ekechi. You don't, need, you don't need spirit to release anything. I don't need any release. Uncle, what's your name, sir? Eh? <laughs> ah, the same name. He says his name is Imane. I will not mind. I will call Imane. Not that Imane, you know. <laughs> not Emmanuel. You know what we want to call our We say Emmanuel. His son is Imane. <laughs> Is that his manner? Huh? Uh-huh. Can you see that his is not? Uh, is that it? <laughs> it's not in the spirit. That's why the light off. Can you imagine what we are talking about? Huh? Can you imagine that? So I'm trying to bring you down. Let us come go back to the nursery school. In a nursery school, simple. When you want to call the name, a name that is not your father. Your biological father is not your cousin, it's not your uncle, it's not even your pastor in the church. It's not a name that you know in the flesh, in the body, in the fluid. It's spirit being. If that name exists in the spirit being, now you need suggestion of spirit to call the name. If I'm talking to you, let us see hand. You need what? Talk at the name. Because it's not the flesh, it's not in the blood. It needs spirit suggestion to call the name. So before you say in the name of Jesus, there must be suggestion from the spirit that you should call the name. If not, if you call that name, you are only attracting or causing a rose unnecessary work. Unnecessary attack. That is why when you sleep in the night, you know, we can lie in the, in the physical realm. Say, I'm this, I'm that, I'm that. But judgment is in the dream now. Huh? So much time when you just leave, these people come. They say big cross. You wear big cross to sleep. And your Bible is very big. Even in front of your house, there's a symbol that says, Touch not mine. And do him no more. Obanje does not know that. <laughs> if too late, you are not Jedu. And you put the whole symbol on cross. Even you drop the blood of Jesus, the, the blood that dripped from the hair, from you put it, you know this blood, when you see it, people are afraid, you put everything on the road. Sometimes, some people even put Bible on the road, and you sleep. Once that name is not in your heart, but the Bible says, Christ dwells in our heart through faith. And you are now lying down, sleeping. When these people come, with Kobonko, Sometimes, as stubborn as they, they know you are, they know whom you are. They will first of all use their leg leg to, to kick you. Stand up. You you bam. You want to say, you want to charge Jesus here. And Ule is not Jesus, man. But don't say, you we'll leave that one and say, my honey, my honey. Honey, honey is very close to the, they sleep together. Honey will say, my dear, what happened, what happened? These people, they have flogged me already. <laughs> so, can you, can, you, can you imagine what you are talking about? But if the, if, if the way dominating in your heart, 
And when they come, that word will speak for you. It's that word that will cry in Jesus' name. You say, fire, while you are sleeping. Fire, I consume you, fire for little. In the name of Jesus, people will see you shouting on the dream, you will not know what you are saying. You say, hey, stop that, and you see them stop with God and everything in that vision. If the word dominating you, you speak fluently. Without any resistance. But if the word are not dominating you, there's nothing you will not call. There's nothing you will not call. They will even carry that Bible you put under your pillow. They will not open Psalm 35. They will be the one to open it. And they will put it in your chest. See your, see your, see your head. By the time you wake up, say, ah, Psalm 35 could not save me. If I, I, I did not open this Bible, but somebody opened it. Yeah, that one opened it, telling you that that book is your book. It's not only book. Are you with me? Give, come, uncle, with your Bible. Come. Let me give you a good example. If the were dominating my brother here, if the were dwelling in him, that were is equivalent to Christ's personal being. Are you with me, sir? If the word of God dominating you, that were that dominating you is equivalent to Christ's personal being. Meaning is Christ. Because the Bible says Christ dwells in our heart to face. So now it means you have Christ in your heart. If you now stretch your hand now and say, in the name of Jesus, it is the word that dominating you that will come out. That is you are calling. Because it's equivalent to Christ personally. But the Bible says Christ and the Word are one. But if the Word are not dominating you, and you are calling Christ, you cannot bring Christ into the sin. You just be calling Christ in vain. This is exactly what happened to sons, seven sons of Sceva. So, what is the way out now, sir? The way out is to yield to the Spirit of God. Hmm? The way out is to yield to the Spirit of God. To do what? To yield to the Spirit of God. Okay. How? How do we? How do we do that? How come about that? By studying the Word of God. By studying the Word of God. Uh, uh, study the Word of God. Uh, not only study the Word of God. Huh? Not only study the word of God. You can you may study the word of God for years. So now, like I have said, not only you must hear the word with your ear. I'm sorry for touching your ear. It's okay. Yeah? It's okay. Yeah? It's all right. Am I permitted to touch your hair? You are permitted. Yeah? You are permitted, prophet. So, if after three touches your ear, you can now touch my own. So that. <laughs> I'll be able to hear God. Uh, uh, touch my ear, I'll be able to hear God. <laughs> so, uh, not only must you hear the word with your ear, I hope I'm not touching it too much. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you must also hear the word with your heart. With your heart. Can you see? I hope the heart is not too vibrating. <laughs> no. <laughs> no prophet. <laughs> because we are just talking now. You must also hear the word with your heart. And the question now, how do we hear the word with our heart? Ask me. 
Uh, do you know how to hear the word with our uh, heart? No. Yeah? No. But you have grammar. The English you spoke now, I could, like, even me, I could not understand what you were saying. Uh, if I'm not here, I will have to open my dictionary. <laughs> Uh, how do we hear the word of God with our heart? Uh? <laughs> Look at this man. I, I'm saying different thing. He's saying different thing. What matter to him is what is happening. I will not even answer you unless you answer my question. I said you spoke a very big grammar now. And it took me a time to really understand what you are saying. <laughs> How do you come about that grammar? But you, 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 you sat at home throughout your life to hear grammar? And no prophet. But what I'm telling you now is not Spanish, it's not French, it's English. Yes. You answer me, how do we hear the word of God with our heart? Because you can speak English very well. Uh, number one is to follow Christ. Uh, you, you're a student of chemistry. <laughs> Okay, now what you are saying is, how do we hear, we all know how to hear God's word with our ear. Have you? Is there anybody here? No, everybody know how to hear God's word with our ear. But here is the problem now. How do we hear God's word with our heart? To hear God's word with our heart requires openness and hunger for God's word. openness and hunger for God's word. If you put these two together, openness, hunger, how do we, if you put these two words together, and you want to give just one minute, I would define the two words all together in one sentence. See God's word as if your life depends on knowing it. Indeed, our life depends on need. Thank you. So, are you okay, sir? Are you okay with me? You are okay now. Now, when you begin to see God's word, as if your life depends on knowing it, it means nothing can, because it's an uncommon book, and you need an uncommon way to study it. An uncommon reading, an uncommon hearing, with devotion. Now, to next week we talk about that. That is what we call personal reading. Personal reading leads us to the grace we are talking about. If you want to be very, very friend of Jesus. You discover a lot. And when you want to read, there are two things you have to do. First, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to that. Because maybe by next week I'll surprise you people. You know, we talk about the uh, stool prayer, prayer stool. And that could not come because of uh, some. But God has given me another way. Now we are. We have I've sent people all over the world to go and give me a sample of what I want now. It's not anything. I realize that you don't even need any. God said, no, that you need the other way. When, even when you lie down on your bed, you can in communion with God. When you are sitting, as you are sitting down now, look at you sitting down. You are too free. I'm expecting you to be busy. Meditation. And this meditation we are talking about is always difficult for a baby Christian. 99% of the whole world are baby Christian. Baby Christian is someone who is just Kigangati school in, in God's in God. It's not to know Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Baby, when you cannot, when the Spirit cannot suggest to you, what can we call you? Baby. You can, nobody can come out and say, uh, I, I am a spirit suggestion to pray, spirit suggestion to sleep, spirit suggestion to sit, spirit suggestion to look, spirit suggestion to greet, spirit suggestion to count money. If you spirit suggestion to count money, you don't have loss for money. 
fleshly desire. Huh? So, I mean, our heart must be pure from fleshly loss and ungodly thought and desire. So we need someone, as you are sitting down now, you have something with you that while you are looking at me, you too, I, can, I will be looking at you, your body will be vibrating. Your body. Nobody will know what you are saying, but every good way will be going through your mouth as you are looking at me. As you are looking at me, as you are looking, if you need to shout, you just shout, but you are with that. You will be vibrating. But it's not easy for you to just be doing like this. Ah. Yeah? When well, you are not taking any uh, chloroquine. <laughs> yeah? But you need something. I ask God the way. So that is it. By next week, you will see what you will see. I think you will love TV Joshua more than this next week. <laughs> so as you are sitting down, you will just, you will just, you will just every good way. It will force you to read your Bible. You, you yeah, love to read. Look at what I'm saying now. Look at what you're saying. That's simple. That the spirit will be released. The spirit will release what? Will release what? Eh? Eh? No. You see your book I've given you. I just said it now. So you, 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 you see when your spirit acts act upon the way you feel release suggestion what next to do you look at me i'm standing here now i don't i can't see anyone that will tell me that what is looking at the only thing you can say you see me putting on suit maybe you see some little powder in my face no when I turn around, you say, ah, this suit is very good, though. Is that what you are here for? God will forgive you. <laughs> so, that is what you are saying. But, when you are in the spirit with me, you will be able to see the prophet T.B. Joshua. But you are only seeing Mr. T.B. Joshua, but you cannot see the prophet. So, when you see, you begin to communicate. You see fire, you see, ah! Get to vibrating. You keep so something need you need something. I, we have to take you from the scratch because a lot have, have, have been broken. Our Christian life, I think, is upbringing, the background, upbringing is so difficult. Many of us believe we are born again. We, we ask, what is the meaning of born again? Is it God's standard? The born again that. Look, the spirit cannot suggest to you. You just pray because you see people praying. You sleep because you see people sleep. You feel like sleeping. I mean, you don't know when to fast. The spirit should suggest when to fast. It's not there when people fast, you fast. It, I say upbringing. Eh? It is calendar that will tell us when to fast. 40 day, 49. We look at the calendar and time and when. So, Jesus was, it was spirit that actually suggested to Jesus to go to the wilderness. Spirit suggested to Jesus to go to where? Wilderness. For 40 days, 49. He was not just, in, just decided to go to the wilderness and begin to fast. The same spirit, when he was taken to the hill top, and Satan asked him to look all oh, and he will give you everything. The same spirit, will, the spirit of God said to him, "No, don't mind this foolish man." In the garden of Gethsemane, too, at first, when he said to him, "Say, ah, let this God pass away," the same spirit said, "Look, what are you talking about? Have you forgotten the reason why you are sent to this war? No, you are sent to save the soul." The same spirit. the spirit suggests to you what to do next all this threat fear people will just write a letter and drop it in your company that they are coming to kidnap you if you go and drop 50 million somewhere you begin to run you begin to run you come to this synagogue you see crowd you say crowd is too much 
let him go to another place. You will go and drop the money. That's it. Because they know whom you are. They know they can treat you. They know you don't know when they are coming and you don't know when they are going. So, spirit. Rise up, rise up, rise up in prayer. Father, thank you. Ask God to open the door of your heart. Dios que abra la puerta de su corazón. Ore al Señor que la puerta de vuestro cœur. Ask God to open the door of your heart. Say, open the door of my heart, Lord. Abre la puerta de mi corazón. I can hear you. La puerta de vuestro cœur, Señor. I can hear you. Abre la puerta de mi corazón. In Jesus Christ's name. Like I have said, I said it, and I've been on it since this prayer stood. I've been thinking, God, if they say you are giving me, I, we cannot use it because of circumstances all over the world. People can use it for any other thing. Whoa. The third day, God gave me another revelation. God gave me another revelation how to handle the matter. So, by the grace of God, by Two to three weeks, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about? That you, it will really help you in, in building your, 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 I mean, your, your faith. Because I'm looking at faith as an issue now. We, we read Bible, we hear the word only with, with our ear. But to hear God's word with our heart it has been very, very difficult because our heart is full of ungodly thoughts. Our heart is full of what? I can't hear you. So when one heart is full of ungodly thoughts, that heart needs to be delivered. Before you can meditate godly things, what is going on in your heart is that, uh, ah, eh, how will I pay that debt? Ah, eh, I don't know when I will live here. Ah, is this man, this man will attend to me today? Ah, eh, am I going to be free today? Ah, if I'm not going to free, I will go back to that place. Ah, eh, so it ungodly thought, it keep going on, going on, going on, going on, going on in your heart. So unless one is delivered from this ungodly thought and desire, Fleshly loss, loss for money, loss for this, loss for drink, loss for that, loss for fame, loss for popularity, loss for power, loss for men, loss for women, loss for position. All those loss, 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 loss. Lost, lost. Many of us are here today. Because you are here, that is why you have not taken cigarettes. But to anybody that sees you, will see you as a gentleman. At the same time, you are praying that we should close early so that you can go out. I believe when the wise men touch you, you'll be delivered. Yeah. So, lost, lost, lost. A lot is going on in our heart. Hmm? A loss. Pride. This. Lost. Lost. So unless one is delivered from this lost, lost, fleshly lost. I don't know. If you are not delivered from fleshly lost, how will the thought, the meditation in God's word? The Bible says the meditation in God's word is a visit within. 
And if you are not able to meditate in God's way, how will you visit God? How will God visit you? His way is contact to us and contact to Him. Tell your neighbor. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. That if I want to contact Him, through his way, by his spirit. And if he wants to contact me, he can only contact me through his own way, by his spirit. If I'm talking to you, let us see your hand. Can you see now? Communication is, is what? Is what? Is what? Is, is off completely. Is where is a contact to us and contact to him. If he, I want to contact him, I can only contact him through his way by his spirit. And also himself can only contact me through his way, his own way, by his spirit. You know, I told you last time that the language of the Bible that God used to say and create us, to hear and bless us to judge and to rule over us is quite different from the language of today. So, glory be to God. We was at home, I know you are blessed. I know you are blessed. I know you are blessed. I want to talk, I want to, I will, I will, that, that fleshly loss in your heart will be destroyed today. Ungodly thoughts will be flushed out by the blood of Jesus. Yeah. You believe that? Yeah. Ungodly thoughts and desire will be flushed out by the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Will be flushed out by the blood of Jesus. Will be flushed out by the blood of Jesus. Now, after flush it out, you are going back to your destination. You will not go home. You will not go home. A lot of job one need to do. That is why that would be. I mean, so I mean, I know because last year there was so huge promise. This year, I I know my people and my people know me. We do every proper, every proper means. So that your life will not remain the same in the new year you are about to enter. Because we are having just a month to enter December. You, you, I mean, that happy new year you keep shouting. It has become another thing. So before that happy new year, if God can give us so much, I mean, look at, from beginning of this year, I gave you prophetic message for the new year. You were able to read it. I, why you not see everything that was predicted there came to pass. Everything. Everything. Even including even the economic crisis, I told you that uh, it, it will shake the superpower. It's in the book there. The book given to you. Everything that was talking of the crisis and those nature of the crisis. So I mean, I begin to ask God again next year. What is it? As I'm giving you, I I have to give you. Ah, this is what you should go with to build your faith in the face of whatever coming next year. It will only improve you, not impair you. Amen. So this is the blessing of God for you. But so uh, hallelujah. Amen. So you can will you just have two minutes, have your seat. Let's listen to John one before I go to your miss. So just one or two. Last week there was a revelation. I was able to move around to meet one or two people. Let's hear one of them. Will you allow him, allow him, let him go, 
there's no moment allow him let him go Don't forget, this should continue to tell you, instead of calling the name Jesus in vain, the power that flows from his name will be in proportion to our love for his word. Tell your neighbor once again. The power that flows from God, from his name, will be in proportion will be in proportion to our love for his will yes when that love is expressed don't be surprised to see things change so when you call in the name of jesus and you cannot hear anything instead of attack. You need to walk in your love walk. Walk in, in on your walk. Love walk. Tell your neighbor. When you when you when you call the name Jesus and you realize that there's nothing to write home about, walk in your love walk. Love, L O V E and W A L K. Your love walk. You work on your love. The reason why, why I put that love is because faith walk by love. When you say you have faith to move Monte without love, you are nothing. I put that love because faith work by love. Work on your love. Work. Faith work by love. Hmm. So we are waiting, please. Praise the Lord. Rise of rise of a prayer. After the prayer, we go to, to the prayer line. Those who uh, are registered for prayer line. Hallelujah. That's, are you there? I know you are looking at my location. You are looking... For, you are looking for my you are looking for my location hallelujah stretch your hand stretch your hand they were all over the world the word dominating you is the lordship of christ in you the, the word dominating you la palabra dominándolo is the Christ you are calling Christ que vous to the que scene. Llama. Sur la scene. Each time you say, in the name of Jesus, be okay. here. In the name of Jesus, the word dominating you is the Christ you are calling to the scene. Right que vous now, sur la begin scene. to receive the heart of God's word. Open your lips and begin to, begin to receive the heart for God's word. Us to read your Bible. Us to meditate. Receive, 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 receive. Begin to receive that hodge. Hodge, 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 hodge. Hodge for God's word. Hodge for God's word. Hodge for God's word. Begin to receive the hodge. Hodge to read. Read your Bible and obey it. Hodge for God's word. Hodge to obey. Hodge to obey what you are reading. Para obedecer, leer la palabra de Dios.
commencez à recevoir le désir de lire votre Bible, de recevoir ce désir de lire la parole de Dieu, de lire cette parole. Recevez le désir. Receive the urge, begin to receive the urge, 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 to obey God's will, urge to read and obey God's will. Receive the deseo para leer la palabra de Dios y obedecerla. On se reçoit ce désir de lire et d'obéir à la parole de Dieu. Receive the urge to read and obey God's will in Jesus Christ's name. Au nom de Jésus Christ. Say power over you be broken. Say power over you be broken. Se rompe el poder de pecado sobre ti. Fleshly laws and ungodly thought be broken. Se rompe toda lujuria. Y pensamientos mundanos sean brisados. Y todos los pensamientos negativos. Fleshly laws. An ungodly thought be broken. Is a lujuria carnal, se rompe. Is carnal, the pensées des mondaines soient brisées. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Fleshly lust and ungodly thought be broken. Se rompe la lujuria carnal y los deseos malos. Loss of disobedience, loss of unfaithfulness, loss of immorality, fleshly loss and ungodly thought be broken. She bow over you 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 be broken. Break, break, ungodly thoughts, fleshly laws, and ungodly thoughts. Be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Abra sus labios y empieza a quebrantar todo lujuria carnal y todos deseos malos, todos pensamientos malos. Quebrante los, rompa los en el nombre de Jesucristo. And ungodly thoughts and desire be broken in the name of Jesus. Fleshly lusts and ungodly thoughts and desire be broken. Lusts for money, lusts for immorality, lusts for I don't. Uh, I don't. I mean, unfaithfulness, whatever law that has been disturbing you, fleshly laws, ungodly thoughts, and desire be broken, be broken, be broken. Be broken. Malos deseos se rompen. Open your lips and begin to break it, break it, break it. Fleshly laws, and ungodly thoughts, and desire. La lujuria carnal, los deseos malos y el deseo. Vos lèvres, les convoitises de charnel et les pensées mondaines, comment tu les briser dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Priez. I want to assure you today, what you are talking about is a prophetic word. Every fleshly lust and ungodly thought and desire be broken in the name of Jesus. I'm speaking to your heart. In the name of Every ungodly thought and desire. Every ungodly thought and desire. Every ungodly thought and desire. Every ungodly thought 
Solo pensamiento en Dios. Y de En el nombre de Jesús. Se rompe. Se rompe. Se rompe. Se rompe. Se rompe. Se rompe. Abra sus labios con su corazón y empieza a quebrantar toda lujuria carnal y todo pensamiento impío y todos deseos en el nombre de Jesús. Quebrántelo en el nombre de Jesucristo. Jesus, uh, power of immorality, Poder de immorality. unfaithfulness, infidelity, disobedience, disobedience. fleshly thoughts, fleshly laws, fleshly laws, unfaithfulness, desires, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, be broken, 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 se rompe. Se rompe. Se rompe. En el nombre de Jesucristo. Begin to confess your freedom. Confiesa tu libertad. Yo soy libre. Estoy libre. De fleshly laws. De cómo dice el mundo. De pensar mal. De pensamientos impíos. Y los deseos. Estoy libre. De la inmoralidad. Estoy libre. De la infidelidad. Estoy libre. Open your list. Open your list. Viva Satom. Where can you go from his presence? Where can you go from his presence? She power over you. Be broken under the blood of Jesus. She power over you. Be broken under the blood of Jesus. I see power over you. Be broken under the blood of Jesus. She power over your life. Be broken under the blood of Jesus. She power over your life. Be broken under the blood of Jesus. She power over your life. Be broken under the blood of Jesus. Wherever you are, whatever situation you are in, 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 whatever situation la presencia de Dios se vuelve a abrir. Poder de pecado sobre usted se rompe. Soy libre. Soy libre. Fleshly laws. Como dice Charnel. Lujuria carnal. Y los pensamientos de Dios. En su corazón. Desire. Desire. En su corazón. Se rompe. Desire to do this. Desire to do that. Desire to do this. Desire to do that. Desire to do that. Desire to do that. Desire to do this. Desire to do that. 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 Law in whose hands and power and mind I stretch my hand, estiro mi mano. Para sanar al enfermo. Wherever you are, whatever situation you are in, donde quiera que estés, cualquier persona que se encuentre, estás en la cama enfermo. Whatever situation, fleshly loss, cualquier situación, locura carnal, pensamientos impíos y deseos están en su vida. Se liberaba en el nombre de Jesús. Oh Lord, in whose In whose hands power and mighty? Mighty is your name. Mighty is your name. The right hand of God. 
la es diestra de Dios de Dios, es poderosa Spano poder Dios. para sanar poder para liberar poder para liberar poder para bendecir la diestra de Dios es poderosa poder para liberar para sanar para bendecir la diestra de Dios y que en su mano poder y poder I deliver oppressed in the name of Jesus. Libero al oprimido. I deliver oppressed in the name of Jesus. Libero al oprimido en el nombre de Jesús. Se liberado. 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 The right hand of God is power. La diestra de Dios es poder. The right hand of God is power. La diestra de Dios es poder. The right hand of God is power. La diestra de Dios es poder. En el nombre de Jesús. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Regocíjese. Rejoice. Meet me at the